Hey ladies and gentlemen, Simon here with another episode of Cowboy Bebop to watch. This is the newest uh, series on the channel and the first episode that we watched was, well, it was interesting and it finished on a rather dark note with an apparent murder slash suicide, I guess. Um, but the premise seemed fairly simple enough. Uh, we have Spike who um, is one of the two crew members aboard a spaceship called the Bebop and apparently he is a bounty hunter. Um, now, he seems very laid back, very chill, very calm and collected. Um, you didn't really learn too much about him as a person, I guess, in the first episode. Um, we just kind of saw, we kind of had an introductory kind of mission where this guy who was sort of, he'd stolen this huge supply of red eye, which apparently was this drug which gave you immense strength and combat ability and also made you a little bit crazy um he'd stolen a bunch of them with his apparent girlfriend and was trying to smuggle them out of the system she wants to go to mars to live a better life um instead they ended up in tijuana tijuana in space not tijuana mexico apparently which is what i thought it was um but then when i saw that there was a big kind of halo ring i realized mm, no that's not that's not earth um and it was a very kind of strange setting. Um, but then again, I suppose when you combine sci-fi and Western, which is very much the elements that it seemed to have, you know, there was very much a Western setting to the music and then the sci-fi elements, well, you've got spaceships and it's based in space. Um, you know, it's, it's a very interesting mix. It definitely is unique and something that, you know, I don't think I've seen in a, a TV show before anyway. I mean, there was Cowboys and Aliens, but we don't talk about that because that wasn't very good. It wasn't very good at all. Um, but I enjoyed Steve Bloom's performance. Um, people have said that this is the best dub of any anime series, which um, is refreshing to hear. You know, I'm, I'm a fan of the dubs and um, it's always nice to hear when, you know, a dub gets praised. So, um, it must be pretty good if it's one over, you know, people who, um, I've seen, you know, kind of refuse any kind of a dub, but, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen in this second episode and see how Spike was affected by the events of the first episode. So we're going to jump in. Before we do, I want to say a big thank you to my Patreon super supporters, Frank Tremel, Karen Abel, Ace, Nick Walters, The Seven Deadly Sins, Damon Smallwood, Michael Y, and Irish Cal. So, without further ado, let's jump in and let's watch episode two of Cowboy Bebop. Fight I mean, you were going to shoot him, so maybe he's not... Whoa! Maybe he wasn't that crazy. Should have been quicker with the trigger, boys. Is that Mars? It looks like Mars. I like how these space scenes are so chaotic. That looked like a penis. That ship. <laughs> There's a TV show for bounty hunters. Do you say pet thief? Oh, so he stole the lab, the lab animal from there. So it must be a lot. If he's charging 280 Wuhans and the reward is 8 million, then that's got to be a lot. Huh. He's got some crazy hair, but apparently he's had a face transplant. Also pretty sure that was Leorio from Hunter x Hunter right there. Uh. Oh, oh, God. See? Oh, shit, it was Leorio. He stole it. Bruh. <laughs> Totally tubular, dude. You know? <laughs> oh, wow, he's good with the nunchucks. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, hello. Why me? This is a misunderstanding. Do it. It's a misunderstanding. God, the accents on this episode have been on point, haven't they? She's got a turtle on her head. Or is it a tortoise? I can't. I can never remember which one's the amphibious one and which one is. Oh, oh, it's a doggy. Two Wulongs? Eat the poor thing? No! Are you kidding me? But that was the package, wasn't it? There was a lab dog. Oh. Oh, go doggy! Run, animals! Be free! <laughs> <laughs> What's so special about this dog, other than the fact it was a lab dog? Don't you try and hit the dog, you evil man. <laughs> the dog's happy just to watch. Bye, dog. I've never seen a dog do that before. Oh, no, puppers. I mean, I know you meant well because you wanted to. Uh, shut up. Shit! This whole thing gives me a headache. <laughs> it's worthless mutt. Ah! Oh. The dog is worthless, Spike. Got to find it. If it falls into police hands, we're in very deep shit, my friend. Seems that way. Well, that's worse. He just swore. Experiments. It'll all be for nothing if this gets out in the old teams. It's not often you hear oh, swearing in anime. What we put into that data dog. You mean impossible. Why? Hey, wait a minute. What's going on? Oh dear. So he was going to sell the dog to someone, was he? I guess. How much? Oh. They're luring him out. Oh yeah, all of the animals are going crazy. So yeah, every single dog in the city is about to converge on that van. Oh, ow! Right in the face. He's got a wedding cart. Nope. Though he does seem slightly pissed. There's our man. Oh, he's coming in his plane. The ship. Whatever. Oh, nice. Don't head the dog. <laughs> this is a crazy scene. Oh my, this dog knows what he's doing, doesn't he? <laughs> oh no! The dog just jumped out of a car going about 80 mile an hour. How is that dog not dead? Oh! So, I'm guessing they died. He survived. Data dog. What? So I mean, it makes sense as to why the dog was trying to do things that a normal dog wouldn't do. <laughs> and that woman's like, I could have bought that for 180 wulong. Oh, they've got the dog? Please tell me the dog's going to be a part of the show from now on. That's why I said I didn't want any stray mongrel mutts in here. But you're the one who brought him here. Anyway, we got to do something about the ticks. Ticks now. Let's just salt them and eat them. 
What? No! Spike? Okay, so... <laughs> Crazy episode, and once again, Spike misses out on the bounty. I I'm willing to bet that's going to become a recurring theme where he um, he means well. He goes out and does well to save people or, you know, finds his target, but just somehow it slips through his fingers and he's going to be eternally broke. You know, that seems like that's what the show is going to be about. Um, it was a fun episode. Half the time, I didn't know what was going on, you know. Um... I was sitting there thinking to myself, what is so special about this dog? And why is it acting so strange? Why is it acting so intelligent? And apparently a data dog is exactly that. It's intelligent. Now, um, I I was a little confused about, like, I, I thought that Spike went out originally on a contract to get this Hakim because he's worth 8 million Wulong. But he seemed more interested in saving the dog because they said that the owners could possibly be rich. But I mean, you know for a fact you could get 8 million Wulong if you capture Hakim. So why go for the dog? But it's done. Um, I can't believe they survived that crash. That was like a 200 foot fall in a vehicle that would surely just explode on impact, you know? Um... But I'm hoping the dog now becomes a regular member of the team. That'd be amazing if, um, you know, I don't know what they're going to call it. Um, if they, if, it, if I'm assuming it's a he. We don't know the gender of the dog, so I'm going to say it. Um, um, but I'm assuming it is going to become a part of the team, which is going to be awesome. You know, an intelligent dog that Spike hates, that's just going to get in the way, but also be adorable. That's the kind of content I'm here for. That's what I want, you know. Um... But it was a really fun episode. I like the kind of grotty, grungy um, setting that all of the cities, even on Mars, everything seems to be kind of um, dystopian and run down, you know, and it's not a very, it's not a very attractive looking life, you know, um, which is weird because I'm assuming that was Mars anyway. But that woman was talking about how Mars was a new break and they'd have a new life there on Mars as if Mars was some kind of paradise, which, you know. Which isn't true. Um, but they're keeping it very simple. There's no real bigger world explanation. It's just you're thrown into these individual kind of chases. And um, at one point I was thinking, okay, so we've got scientists chasing a dog napper who's also being chased by a space bounty hunter in a ship. And I just thought that's that's one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard. And it's brilliant. That's great. Um, so, yeah. I really enjoyed that. Um, a few people have asked me if I'm going to watch the movie when I get to the end. Yes, I will. And I also believe this is being remade on Netflix. I don't know if it's being made as live action. I think it is. Um, or whether it's sort of a redoing of like the anime. I don't know. But I'm going to assume it's live. Um, but I might give that a go as well once that comes out. Hopefully it's better than Death Note. We don't talk about Netflix, Netflix as Death Note because it was trash. Trash. Um... But anyway, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you liked it. If you did, let me know in the comments. Like the video, share it. Be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you for the next one.